The Radio Experience software is a great tool for programming promotions and sales. But let's face it, engineering and IT have the biggest responsibility for making the magic happen. So how do you do it? Well, believe it or not, it's really quite simple. First, let's look at a typical RDS setup. In a typical installation, you need two things. Number one, a PC for the Radio Experience software. If a PC can run at least Windows 2000 or later, it will be able to run TRE. And due to the critical nature of the software, we recommend that it have one dedicated PC located where the software will not get intentionally or accidentally tampered with. Next, you will need an RDS encoder. TRE supports all major RDS encoders that are capable of accepting a serial or UDP connection and outputting dynamic program service and radio text. But of course, the Radio Experience software works best with Broadcast Electronics' own RDI20 RDS generator, which features a full front panel display and is entirely configurable from the control knob on the front panel. Now let's set up TRE. When you purchase the Radio Experience software, you will receive a new site survey. This survey will contain questions about your installation, such as IP addresses, automation system details, and general hardware information. We then use this information to pre-configure the Radio Experience software for you. Then you simply install the software from the TRE install disk, copy the configuration license file to the TRE folder, and run the Radio Experience software. If you ever need to make a change in the original configuration, you can do so via the TRE configuration utility. Now let's take a look at the RDS encoder. If you are using Broadcast Electronics RDI20 RDS encoder, all you need to do is set the connection method via the front panel to either serial or IP, then set the injection level and connect the Radio Experience software. Finally, connect your composite to the back of the RDI-20, and this completes the setup of the RDI-20 RDS encoder. The first time you run the Radio Experience software, it will set the rest of the configuration parameters automatically. If you are using an RDS encoder other than Broadcast Electronics RDI-20, please consult the manufacturer's manual for configuration information. And if you are broadcasting in HD radio, the TRE software will feed data to the HD exporter for main program service and to the importer for secondary program service. So you'll need to give TRE network access to your HD exporter and HD importer. And because of the nature of the IBOC protocol, these connections must be Ethernet. If you are limited to serial connectivity between your studio and transmitter, Broadcast Electronics has a solution called EPAD. Please visit the website or contact Broadcast Electronics for more information. And finally, if you are passing now playing information from the TRE software to your radio station's website, you will need to allow the TRE PC FTP access to your station's website. Also, if you've purchased the advanced message managing capabilities of TRE, such as Message Center and Revenue Center, you will need to allow TRE web access over port 80 so that it can communicate with the data center. We should note that all of TRE's communication to the data center are pull-based technology. Nothing is ever pushed to TRE. And there you have it. Setting up TRE can be pretty simple. And of course, broadcast electronic support specialists are always standing by 24 hours a day in case you need assistance.